mystery of stuff. For most people, retiring in an old bus wouldn't be the dream they had for their golden years. However, for Greg Flint, his bus meant the world to him. Nicknamed Buster, the old bus, may not have looked like much, but has a rich and long history with Greg. So much so, that he decided to convert the old clunker into the home of his dreams. Despite the challenges and uphill battles he faced, Greg worked hard to convert the old bus into a home he would be proud of. And he certainly succeeded. Proving that you can't judge a book by its cover, Greg's converted home has to be seen to be believed. At first glance at Greg Flint's home, one might question its state. The paint on the bus is chipped and overall appearance shows years of neglect. However, inside is an absolutely stunning example of craftsmanship. The relationship Flint has had with his 1975 Chevy goes back more than 15 years. He obtained the bus through a series of events. These events were triggered after Flint's four daughters left home and he was finally faced with freedom for the first time in a long time. Realizing he wanted more than spending the rest of his days in a large dream home on 10 acres of land, Flint chose to sell the place so he could live in a much more different setting. During this time, one of his friends asked him for a favor. Flint was known around Sandpoint, Ohio as Papa Smurf because of his ability to fix just about anything. A former stonemason and builder, Flint knew his way around tools. So what was the favor? Well, Flint's friend had an old bus that needed to be fixed before they went off to Mexico. Of course, Flint agreed to help, but then something happened that threatened to derail his plans for the bus's renovations. The friend's relationship went south. Flint explained, those friends broke up. In the meantime, I'd fallen in love with Buster and had a vision for its transformation. I asked to buy it and they gave it to me, the retiree added. I've lived in Buster for almost 15 years now, and I love it. Thankfully, completing his vision wouldn't be from scratch since someone had already begun the conversion and added a new top section to the bus. Windows had also been installed in the new upper area, leaving Flint the bottom half to begin working on. The upper windows made it possible to cover many lower windows, allowing for more buildable wall space. Flint revealed to the website, smaller living. The front section has a VW pop top giving access to the rear deck on top which provides wonderfully cooling airflow in the summer. While the bus was the perfect home for the warmer months, Flint knew it needed some significant changes if he was going to live in it during the winter. Since Idaho winters were quite brutal, there was no way he could live in the bus year-round in its current state. Before Flint could really begin designing the interior, he knew he needed to insulate the bus so it could withstand the cold. I used two-inch rigid foam insulation on the vertical walls and two layers of reflectics in the curved parts of the ceiling. Flint revealed, using cedar trees, Flint transformed the bus's interior into a rustic oasis. He also made countertops from an old cedar chest his daughter gave him, along with a kitchen table. For Flint, the all-natural aesthetic was just what he needed. Flint designed almost the entire interior from reclaimed wood and other materials, the interior offering a natural and stark contrast to the metallic, dilapidated exterior. Isn't it beautiful? With the freezing winters of Idaho on the horizon, Flint knew he needed a heating source that would keep the cold out. At first, he settled on an iron wood stove, but it made the interior of the bus way too hot. Thankfully, he was able to craft himself a soapstone stove that was customized to the interior itself. Flint explained, To winterize the bus, all window glass, plus the entrance area gets thickly covered with bubble wrap. I use huge burrito bags full of fall leaves tucked under the bus to insulate the underside. And if that doesn't cover it, I can switch on a small, super-efficient, radiant space heater if I need to. Despite being an active senior, Flint's income after retirement was quite limited, so he had to look for areas to park that offered sustainable resources. In exchange for having a place to park his home, a friend now lets him watch over an apple orchard. Even though Flint has an apple orchard at his disposal for food, He's found other ways to save as well. The bus has large built-in water and propane tanks and a generator, but I don't use them. I bring in dishwater in buckets which fill the sink. Dishes dry on the rack over the sink, and I empty the used dishwater where it's needed on the property to water plants and trees. Due to the curving sides of the bus, a traditional bookshelf was impossible to install. However, thanks to Flint's ingenuity, he was able to use a piece of wood to keep his extensive library in place. At the back of the bus, Flint made himself an alcove with a bed so he would be comfortable when it came to sleeping. Don't you just love the way he utilized the trees and wood? It looks so cozy. Despite the phenomenal renovation Flint achieved, he still has other renovations in store for the good old bus. This is due to his problem with clutter. His cat also doesn't make things easier either. My cat climbs all over inside, and if I get to pacing up and down like when I'm writing, she'll often reach down and snag the hat off my head. Overall, it's amazing how much he accomplished with what was once a broken down bus. Now Flint can live out his days living in a page ripped straight from a fairy tale. Now we have to admit that we're a little jealous.